Hey, how's it going everyone? 40 Gaming here. Hope you're all good. And yep, another God of War build video. The Healing Tank. Now this is a sort of variant of the Assault Tank build. So it does have high survivability, outputs decent amount of damage, but also has four healing options. Runic Attack, Enchantment, Armor Pieces and Talisman all feature healing. Okay, let's take a closer look. So straight away you can see that this build does have slightly less defense than the Assault Tank, but it's made up a bit by having high vitality and high health. So for the chest armor, I've gone for the Endless Mist set. has high defense, good vitality, and provides the first healing source, the Regenerating Essence perk. And additionally, we get some strength too. Moving on to the gauntlets, it's of the same set, the Endless Mist, and finally the Waste Armor, gone for War Belt or Fallen Ash. This has a high defense value on it, so it really helps to build, push over 350 defense. As for the Talisman, I've gone for Aegis Protection. It's a nice defensive Talisman, and also is the second source of healing. Has two enchantment sockets, so it helps to push this build over power level 9, and that'll help tackle some of the tougher enemies, especially the higher level ones. Alright, so going through, taking a closer look at the enchantments, I'm using Envari Soul. So this is the third source of healing, and the rest are my usual ones I use, the multi-stat bonuses, and I've also stacked a few defense enchantments, again to help reach that 350 defense threshold and as this is a healing variant I've changed Atreus's outfit to the runic vestment just to provide that extra chance of additional healing okay so looking at the weapons for the axe runic attacks gone for strike of the Utgard and frost giants frenzy it's a nice melee close combat uh, option. For the Axe Pommel, I've gone for Mistborn, has the Healing Mist, so you could look at that as a fifth healing option, but also features high vitality and decent defense. Now for the Blades, I've gone for Blast of Hephaestus, this is a nice uh, pushback range option and also Gift of Apollo. Now this is the final healing option provides on-demand healing on hit. As for the grips I've gone for Blight Guard has high defense decent vitality but also the explosive blight perk which inflicts weakness on hit. For Atreus, I've changed up his runic summon, gone for Storm of the Elks, uh, and this gives a nice area, area of effect uh, runic damage. So there you go, that's the build, the healing tank. Now I've got some gameplay coming up, and similar to the assault tank build, the first clip features a warm up on the Muspelheim Trials. Now I've taken damage to critical level, red health bar, and you'll see me build the health back using the various healing options that this build gives you. So try it out guys, let me know what you think, and I really hope you enjoyed this video, I hope it proved useful. Thanks for watching, really do appreciate it, and I'll catch you next time with another build. Take care now.
consider a tactical retreat. Yeah! <laughs> 
Joseph. <laughs> 